Have you ever needed to go over a really thick denim seam? I'm going to show you a few tricks that I use when I'm doing that. We're going to start off by sewing the seam together. Now this isn't really super thick denim, but I want to show you the exact steps that you're going to take no matter what the thickness actually is. I'm going to just first start off by setting my sewing advisor for a heavier fabric, so letter C, and a seam. And then that makes the stitch length to 3.0. So a longer stitch length is what you need. Now if you're not used to actually sewing with metric uh, throat plate, you can get an American throat plate. Right now I'm following the 15 millimeter line because that is, the clo that is about 5 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to just sew this up real quick. Now I'm going to take a quick detour and show you a quick top stitching option. I'm going to fold the edge over to the back side here, over to the left, set my needle position to the far left side, and cheat by using a blind hem foot. The blind hem foot is foot D in your accessory box. So this comes with the machine. You're going to notice there's a big toe and a little toe. The big toe is going to ride on this side of the fabric and the little toe is going to ride on the thicker part of the fabric. To get it lined up, I'm going to push the down arrow two times and so my foot is lowered but I can still move the fabric left or right to get it perfectly centered. And then when I step on the foot control, it will go ahead and lower the presser foot down. Now if you just pull the fabric out to the side here, that really just kind of helps flatten it. You can press it too, that really helps of course, but for today we'll just go ahead and kind of peel it apart. Let me show you what we just reached, just did. Now this perfect seam right down here is perfectly parallel to the edge because of the foot. Now if you, you can't always use this foot so that's why you want to get one of the Husqvarna Viking edge joining feet and that's really the best result. We're going to go back to center needle position. It still is on our thicker fabric and now we're going to turn our fabric two times. One and two. Now this is where you'd want to definitely press this and make it nice and perfect. We're going to do top stitching. So top stitching means you stitch from where? The top side. Set your machine to stop with the needle in the down position. That's going to be key for this to to work. Now normally I will go just up and over the really thick seam, but if you pull out your tool, the multi-purpose tool, if you have a really thick seam and when you go up and over, if you start to push it, sometimes that's where you get the, the needle to break because it hits the throat plate. You can go ahead and sew up to where it stops to go forward. With the needle down, that foot comes up and you can take the skinny side if it's not too thick or the thicker side if it's a really thick seam. Sometimes I'm going to even lift up my foot up a little bit more. Slide it behind the foot and when you start sewing, the, the tool makes the foot level as you are crossing over the top of the seam. And then you have nice even stitches. You don't have to push, you don't have to pull. It's fabulous. Now before you come off the other side, what happens? You find your foot goes really fast, you maybe get one long stitch. We'll st take the same tool, stitch into the area. Now stop because some of my students will stitch into their little tool here and have a nice little hole. So stop there and then that foot is level at all times whether it's up at, on top of the seam or actually when it's approaching the seam. So it's really nice and even. And then here we'll just show you what that looks like. It's just a no fuss method. So that is how you can easily do a jean seam without any extra work and the stitches are perfectly even.